question. How much longer do we have to do this for? And do we have to keep paying bills? Um, six months max, realistically three months. Uh, there's not a single economic indicator that's not flashing apocalypse. Apocalypse, not like, oh, minor recession uh, around the bend. No, like l literally end of the US dollar as the global reserve currency apocalypse, apocalypse. Um, n there's not a single stat that does, that does not show this, by the way. Uh, here's just like a fun list of things you can go look up that show it. Um, you can look at the mortgage backed securities index. It's a quick Google search. You can also look up the 10 year yield uh, versus the three year yield, which shows the apocalypse is coming. Uh, you can go look at just the inflation rate, CPI reports. Look at it over a two year span of time, not like, like oh, it's up 7%. It's a year over yield type of uh, year over year type situation. So that's like fucking crazy bad. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, go look up the reverse repo index. That just shows how much money uh, banks are parking overnight because they no a crash is coming uh what else oh look at tether market cap um that's all fake money and once it hits a certain number the, the entirety of the crypto economy explodes uh go look at the crypto markets that's another fun thing to look at um go look at uh mortgage uh defaults go look at uh, credit card defaults all of those have never been higher um Auto loans, same thing. Um, essentially, we're just doing a repeat of 08, but then we're tying in the tech crisis of, uh, of the 01, and we're like putting it on meth. It's going to be so fucking bad. Uh, look at what's happening in China uh, with their economy and how it's collapsing, and then how our entire economy is dependent on their economy. Uh, COVID caused all this, by the way. This is all just tied back to the COVID lockdowns, but essentially... It's just playing out really slowly because the size of the ship sinks proportional to, to its size and the global economy just sinks really slowly because it's the largest of the economies you could technically have. So as it sinks, it just takes a while. Right now, we're just waiting for a black swan event uh, to occur, which will then kickstart off uh, the apocalypse 2.0. Um, yeah, it's like six months. Oh, I hope that answers your question. Oh, and the second part of your question, do we have to keep paying bills? I mean, clearly not. Most people have stopped. And that's part of what's going to cause it. Yeah, everyone's defaulting because there's no money anymore because we, we printed too much. <laughs> and the people who are like, oh, well, if it was like that, wouldn't the media be telling me? Yeah, the media owned by the banks. who are on the other side of the bed. We're about to lose all their fucking money. Why the fuck would they do it? You know what they would do? They would buy up all the property like they did uh, over the last two years so that as the market crashes, uh, their assets, which are now land, don't devalue uh, versus the dollar, which does. That's what I would do. Oh, wait, is that what literally every rich person fucking did over the last two years? Oh, shit.